Hi guys, hi YouTube, hope everybody's well. Um, right, I've, I, uh, I've had a couple of my uh, subscribers ask me about um, basic tools for leather work. Um, and I said I'd get round to doing it. It's back to the grind today, so I have a couple more I'll be working on today. Nice drop point. And uh, another one. I also have, uh, I've had uh, a few orders coming for, I've had a customer come round, he wants me to start making him some, um, um, some uh, bespoke uh, dark cases, so I'll try and bring you along for that. I'll also be trying to do, hopefully this week, that uh, start on the carry-all, that custom carry-all. Um, there's quite a lot going on. There's, loads um, one of these will be uh, what they call a baldric carry so um, I'll try and bring you along for that too. anyway getting back to the the basic tools you'll need for leather work to uh, get you started basically that's that's what's been asked obviously you're going to need some leather what I recommend is vegetable tan leather not grown tanned leather or yeah, um, anything chrome tanned. It's not a, a terrible leather, but you know, if you do want to tool something on it, you, you'll struggle. Um, so that's that out of the way. All the other stuff, goat skin and all that's fine. Uh, pig skin for line is fine. The tools. You'll need a ruler, obviously. I prefer the ones with some kind of backing on. Um, whether it be cork or a nice soft uh, foam. Um, I prefer two sizes, one small, one large. Um, I also have a few different ones for finding the centres quite quickly and stuff like that. Um, most important tool of all is a cut cutting implement, whether you use a half round, A small round, excuse me, round knife. Um, let's grab you a couple more that I've got floating about. These are great tools, but they're, uh, excuse me, they're quite a hard tool to master. Um, another one. Um, I it's my tool of choice for cutting a round knife, so, um, but on a budget or just starting out, whatever, um, you can't beat a, a Stanley utility um, knife. Um, I think I did a video on showing how to sharpen these blades, how I go about sharpening these, so that it doesn't cost you a fortune in, in new blades, very simple. Um, you won't need to change, you'll buy one pack, you won't need to change, uh, uh, buy another pack again probably for many years. Um, so, there's your cutting tools, that's that's a must, you, you, you've got to have that. And as always, as sharp as, as you can as physically get it. Um, then you want um, a stitch groove. Now you don't have to buy one of these, but they're very useful. Um, uh, an adjustable one preferably um, you can use other other ways and means of doing it um, you don't necessarily have to that, that you, you can use a set of wing dividers and what I've done with this particular set as I have a few I've rounded off the edge which gives a nice channel then when you um, Gives a nice channel. Excuse me. When you run it down the edge, which will still seat your stitches and still put them out a little bit. Hope you can see that. There we go. Um, then, if I want to, you you know, if I just want to put the line on um, as a, as a guide. And it's a much thinner and it won't recess them at all. 
there we go, this one here, you know I'll use that then as a guide, so I'll round one edge off, keep one, and I have some that are just completely rounded, um, so a set of wing dividers are invaluable really for that type of stuff, great tool, you know, you don't have to have a stitch groove for that, but they are very handy, so that's another tool. Um, an edge beveller. You don't necessarily have to have this neither, you could just use your knife and um, be very careful and just scythe that 45 off and then burnish um, like that. You know, whoop. you know, just be extra careful. You know, you don't have to have, but they are, you know, invaluable for, for getting stuff neat and you know sorting out the edges so an edge groove um, show me back out again overstitch wheel um, there's many different um, sizes um, depending on what um, stitches you want to do per inch obviously the number on there denotes like this is number six five four I have going right the way up um, so if you want six inches per inch, five stitches per inch, four stitches per inch, you go for which over stitch wheel. You know these are not only good for marking your for your stitches. They're also it's also good for what it what it's called is an over stitch wheel for seating your stitches after nicely in the stitch groove and you know if they're a bit you know it'll sort them out and put put, a, put them a bit neater so um, you don't have to use this neither you could use a household fork um, you could measure out with a ruler and a pen and mark each hole individually like that and, and do it that way you, you don't have to have these tools but you know what I was asked was the you know basic tools for getting you started with these one two, three, four, a pencil and a ruler. There ain't a lot you can't do with that really, to, to be honest. You know, there, there really isn't. Those five simple tools for somebody who's starting out, um, I'll just go over it. A ruler, a utility knife, an overstitch wheel, an edge, um, beveler, a stitch groove and a pencil or a pen. Th th that, th those are the most basic tools you'll need and there's not a lot you can't do with those tools um, regarding leather work. Then it's just time, patience and practice as, as it is with, with, with everything. Um, then you can go to more advanced tools, there's a lot more advanced tools then that you can go to to help you along to make your leather goods a little bit better but these five tools here are what I use most um, and my pricking iron but that, that's another thing altogether um, that, that, that's a way um, and an awl for just pricking your holes yeah so an awl a knife of some type, an over stitch wheel, an edge beveler, a stitch groove and a pencil. Those tools there will will make you really anything you really need. Um, so for, for a starter kit for, for the people that have asked me, um, this is what I would recommend you get. You can go to Tandy, you could go to the Identity Store, there's plenty of leather shops about um, that you can go to online to get these tools. They, you know, they're not a fortune, they're not cheap. Like I've said, you know, if you, you haven't got enough money for the, you know, for an overstitch wheel, use a fork or just use your, your ruler and a pen and mark those stitches out equally. You know, you could miss that tool out. Um, the edge grew, the edge beveler, you could miss that out. You could just very gently just scythe that edge off yourself with your utility knife. Your all you, you could make yourself, um, you could buy a cheap tool from the pound shop, um, a cheap screwdriver or, there we go, something like that. 
I mean, this is a, a, a an awl, but you can get, you know, ones like that, and you can just sharpen the end yourself. And and, and there's an awl. It's a bit thick, but it, it'd it'd do the job in a pinch. You know, just to very basically to get to get you going. Um, you know, I'd recommend maybe to get a stab all rather than a diamond shaped all at first. Um, yeah, because you could also use that as um, a scratch all as well. So you don't need the two tools then, it'd be a bit cheaper for you. Um, guys, I, I hope that's answered some people's questions and, you know, as always, I really hope this helps. Um, that's why I, I do this. You know, I, you know, I, apart from wanting to bring you along for the ride with the knives, you know, I started to do this to to help people. That's that's why I'm doing it. You know, I, you know, I don't have to do this. Um, you know, it takes up a lot of time to do this too. You know, I could be working on a commission now while I'm doing this, but you know, I came to YouTube to share this dying art, and uh, you know, it, I really like to help people out with this and if I can, uh, I get a lot of satisfaction from seeing people make stuff after they've had a bit of help and then see that big smile on their face when they've, you know, said, oh Lee, that, that, that really helped that and, you know, I've, I've made this now, look at that. That, that, that means the world to me, that's, that's why I started to do the leather side. Um, so guys, I, I hope that helps. I, you know, any more questions or if you need me to go over something a little bit more in detail, just just ask, you know, I'll always try my best and try and take the time out to help you um, with this type of stuff. Um, so bye for now, take care Lee.